what I want to know is how valuable are these resources on these asteroids that we're willing to go to these technical and probably expensive lengths to get at them? Because I'm assuming to to run a mission like Osiris Rex or uh, like the Japanese one you'd mentioned, mm-hmm. like it, I can't imagine that's cheap, like from yeah. an NRE perspective or, or even like an ops perspective. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like what are we what are we trying to get at? Like what's what's the what are these resources that we're trying to to mine? Yeah. Well, first, uh, let me st- take a step back. Sure. Um, and see that the most of the missions that have actually occurred or have been designed for the to go to asteroids and such have really been science driven and the, even the sample collection ones they want to we want to know um what these materials really are that makes sense because the asteroids are viewed in comets um as having still to this day some of the primordial primordial materials that have gone into planet formation throughout oh, the that's um, awesome. solar system. And so they're they're part of the the story. And that kind of makes sense. What, how, yeah, how the, the solar system and the universe evolved to some degree. So from a science perspective, you're just trying to get these small samples, bring them back, and be able to analyze and become more knowledgeable about, about these things. The mining thing is something di- uh, even different. It's, it's a similar mission because you're trying, you got to get there, you got to touch it, you got to grab something. Um, but the minerals and such, to your question, you know, yeah. what, what's, what's valuable about those things? So I, I can't claim that I have a good, you know, a strong perspective on that. Um, like the business case, if you will, for, for mining uh, uh, solar system bodies, um, except when it comes to things like rare, mater- rare uh, materials such as you might find on the moon in the form of like helium-3 or something like that. Yeah. 